Locate your existing first flush diversion chamber and before removing the screw cap, check that the advanced release valve will have sufficient clearance for installation. The valve must also be accessible for maintenance and inspection. Remove the screw cap assembly, including o-ring seal and any filters. If the diversion chamber is full of water, take care as it empties. Discard these items as they are no longer needed. These components will be replaced by the advanced release valve assembly. Check the threaded base of the flesh flush chamber where the o-ring seals against, clean of any debris. Place the ball float back into the chamber and then insert the primary filter into the first flush. It should fit snugly in place. For some end couplings, you may be required to trim the spacer from the bottom of the primary filter before inserting. Install the transparent, rapid-release exit funnel, ensuring the o-ring is sealed correctly. It should be screwed up firmly to compress the o-ring. Next, attach the reducing adapter to the bottom of the transparent, rapid-release exit funnel. Then, remove the union from the valve, attach to the reducer before returning the valve, orienting the dial and tightening in place. Ensure all washers are installed during this step. To install the batteries, first remove the clear waterproof cover. Ensure the reset interval and drain time knobs are set to reset and closed respectively. Remove the battery box by squeezing the two tabs together and sliding out. Fit two 1.5 volt AAA batteries before returning the battery box in place. To test the unit, turn the drain time knob to the open position. You should hear the sound of the motor within five seconds. Then turn the drain time knob back to the closed position, ready for setting. Adjust your valve by using the advanced release valve reset and drain time setting table as a guide. You can find this here or on our website in the downloadable version of our installation and specification guide. Consider your pollution level to adjust your reset setting and your first flush chamber's volume to adjust your drain time setting. Please note, the time of programming your advanced release valve will determine the time of day your valve opens and closes. For example, with a reset setting of one week set at 8am, your valve would open once a week at 8am.